Sides FC maintained their perfect record with a 2-1 win over Charlottesville Police Youth Club as the Ascension Tobago Premier League continued at venues throughout the island. Charlottesville PYC struck first in their Eastern Conference fixture against the champions. Slide rule pass setting Kerry McDonald free and he made no mistake on the half hour mark. Sides took 15 minutes to recover from the setback. Malik Lewis unmarked in the short corner and he'll say he meant that. Parity restored. Lewis turn provider in the 57th. Charlottesville PYC unable to clear his initial cross and the resulting effort made to pay as Weir Adams found his way through a crowd of red shirts. So, six points from six for Sides, who beat Roxborough Lakers by an identical margin in week one. Lambo United showed no mercy in their opening match of the Western Conference. Nav Roach started the route in only the third minute. Disastrous defensive play gifting him his first. He took his second, collecting with room to compose and make it 2-0 in five. The chrome goal came in the 28th off McQuale Franklin's boot, though it really shouldn't have. Jabari Francis was too fast and too strong for the Hills defense and made it fall with relative ease in the 36th. With a bit of luck, he got his brace five minutes later. It was 5-0 at the half, just in case you lost count. Jean Paul Stephen Foy used inside and outside his head to deftly make it six in the 48th. Darian Moses got in on the scoring in the 52nd with a simple tap in, 7-0. Hills had a chance from 12 yards after a moment of madness in the Lambo area. Kadeem Hamilton stepped up to dispatch the consolation and his first of the tournament, 7-1 in the 68th. But soon it was back to the regularly scheduled program. Mark Chin didn't need any help getting the 8th in the 81st. Moses got his double in the 83rd with another easy finish. And Axel George put the finishing touches on the 9-goal victory, 10-1 the final score. Lambeau with an emphatic win and the early lead in the conference. Elsewhere in the West, one of the pre-tournament favourites, 1976 FC Phoenix, looked well on their way to their first points against Black Rock. A 36-minute oogoo moment got them on their way, and a simple enough follow-up from a pat-down free kick made it 2-0. However, as the evening wore on, referees determined that there was insufficient light at the ground, and the match was stopped in the 52nd minute. The Ascension Tobago Premier League continues next weekend. Jovan Ravello, TTT Sport. Meanwhile, St. Clair's coaching school drew one all with Bethel United. Stokely Vale beat Bertil St. Clair's Sports Academy 4-1. Golden Lane FC scored three goals in 10 minutes to secure the comeback 3-2 win over Leeds United. And Signal Hill United scored unanswered goals in the 77th, 80th and 88th to take victory from their match against Calder Hall.